Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Dragoon. If I'm said, hopefully I've said that right. Um, because I'm not very good at pronunciation, as you're probably aware. I'm Sarah. This is Matt and Sarah's world. And if the save properly, um, yes, it did. We are on day three. See what happens. Hmm. Ah. There's a goat. Someone close the curtains. Mm -hmm. Okay. We go in the closet. We've been in there, have we? Alice? Upstairs. Yes, upstairs. Why are you upstairs? Teddy? Is that you? Oh, we're now going upstairs. Up, but piano man achievement. Okay, what's this? I wrote Mr. Harden to remarks at the house if he decides to come. I'm terribly excited. I do worry for his sister. I wonder where she could be. There's an argument in the shop today, Frederick was yelling at poor Astrid. Okay. 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 Are filthy. I don't mind her playing and exploring, of course. I always did regret Margaret and I not being allowed to run free when we were little. Ruth says she's just looking for flowers and pretty rocks. I shouldn't worry as much. Okay. So we have... Diary. Okay. Uh, looks like her drawing is sure she's got such an imagination. I do hope she's alright. Ruth is still being secretive. I know she's hiding something one of these days. I will follow her. No church service again today. The vicar hasn't been back since memorial service in July. Jonah believes he won't be back and that he has given up on graphic. Like everyone else. I think I'm coming down with a cold. September 15th, somebody damaged our boat during the night. That's the third one this month. Jonas suspects Frederick, of course, I think. I fear something is bubbling to the surface again after all these years. Not feeling at all well and spent most of yesterday and today in bed. Ruth was sweet and brought me potato soup and tea with honey and milk. September 18th. She has left us. Our dearest Ruth is gone. I cannot believe what Simon's doing. He too is now and gone, and with him all hope Gravik had left in it. Okay. Huh. So 
That's her diary. Okay, there's some interesting bits in there. This room. Ah. This is her room. Hmm? Are you paying attention? Ruth, can you imagine? One moment you're living a perfectly happy life, and then nothing. Darkness. Forever and ever. Maybe there's something here that can tell us what happened to her. This is a waste of my time. We might be the only ones left to tell her story, Edward. You're just being melodramatic. Hmm. Is she there? I'll help you look. She made her bed that morning. Before she... <sighs> her parents did. It doesn't matter. It tells us nothing. Why are you like this today? <coughs> Betty's not the <coughs> only person <coughs> in the world that matters. She matters the most to me. Ain't that the truth? Mm. Excuse me. Ruth was an artist. This is very primitive. Have you ever met a child, Edward? She wasn't Monet, she was eight. Ruth never finished this. What does that spell? F O R B. For Banelson. The curse. Who's that figure supposed to be? It's creepy. A figment of her imagination. But the box she drew. It looks like this box under her desk. Really? Let me see. Pull it out. Interesting. Yeah, of course we want to open it. I got an itchy nose. Anybody want an itchy nose? What is this? I believe this might qualify as actual treasure. Is that Norwegian money? Sort of, but ancient. Viking coins. Are they valuable? Not in terms of monetary value, but historically. Well, they belong in a museum. Looks like Ruth had her own private museum. Why would a child have these artifacts? She must have enjoyed collecting and playing with them. These are much too precious to play with. She should have given these to an adult. She's... She was a child, Edward. To her, they were just shiny toys. Yep. Wait! The pin! On the doll! This is where it came from. Her collection. But where did she find these treasures? A dig. A, a gravesite. Wherever she found them, she wanted to keep them hidden. You think someone found out? These items wouldn't necessarily be worth much, except to a historian or archaeologist. What if this is how... I mean, if someone learned she'd been collecting treasures, they might be willing to do terrible things. I don't know. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> this must be the village church. That's Ruth and her family on one side of the aisle. Simon and his father on the other. The community divided. Must be Ruth and Simon's fathers. Perhaps. They weren't on the best of terms. They look like they want to kill each other. To a child, maybe it looked worse than it was. Children are more insightful than you give them credit for, Teddy Bear. True. Oh, oh, oh. Clicked off the screen again. Another one. She found something. Where's that supposed to be? The cave. Or the... Mine. It could be. But what did she find? Her Viking treasure. Of course. Mm. There's a story here. The treasure box. The drawings. The overactive mind of an imaginative child. She didn't imagine the Viking artifacts. True. You shouldn't be so dismissive. 
The drawings could be her way of dealing with traumatic this events. This is what happens when I read you the principles of psychology. You get notions. You say that like it's a bad thing. Ruth was troubled. The village was troubled, and... Is that a... bell? Church bell. Someone's here. Maybe... Betty. Why would Betty ring the church bell? Perhaps she's in trouble. I need to get to the church right now. Isn't it more likely to be the person you saw the other night? I told you, I'm not sure that was anything. Come on. Go ahead. I'll catch up with you before you get there. Okay, so we need to go to the church. <sighs> ah, I spinned myself around. And again. Can we go down the stairs, please? Stuck in things. The gates are open. They were closed last time we came up here. Who's ringing the bell? since yesterday. Regardless of how they got past the boards, there's someone in there. The only way in must have to go through the front somehow. find God in a church. God is the wind in the trees, the grass between your toes, the brook that That's runs through. That's nature, not God. Can you peek through the boards? Can I peek through the boards? Yeah. anyone no listen I... the bell they're still in there hello I heard the bell this is giving me I'm here to help babies. these boards look flimsy enough to break Go, we going through the front? We're going through the front. Look at that. The Ethel becomes an Edward. I didn't think you had it in you, old fruit. Be quiet. 
Betty? Are you here? Hello? This is Edward Harden. Uh, I'm looking for my sister, Stop Elizabeth. Stop shouting, Edward. We're alone. There are only ghosts here. There are no ghosts. I don't know about that. Lissy. Look. Betty's gloves. <sighs> they are definitely Betty's. Oh, she got these sake. in Boston before she left for New York. She bought them at Woolworth. I remember the day. Woolworths. She... Oh my god. She's here. Where? And why would she leave her clothes lying around? It doesn't make Bread sense. Red crumbs. She's sending me a message. She knew I'd recognize her gloves. Her hat. She's left a trail for me to follow, like Ariadne's red thread. We're not in the lab. Betty will have left more crumbs. Betty, 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 you're turning into such a pill. But you knew that was why he was here. What happened here? The sign on the door. God is not here. Their faith was challenged. And it didn't survive. <sighs> the church book. A record of births and deaths. So we can find out what happened to the people in the village? And, uh, Elizabeth. I mean, if she was dead... Her name would be in the book. Vandals. They tore it to pieces. I don't think the missing pages left the church. Look. I must remember to keep in the middle of the screen. How many pages are missing? I counted four. They're probably all still here. I know. Let's make it a competition. One nil to team me. They considered this a sacred place. For them to destroy it. This was an act of desperation and anger I wanted you to find that one I know what a rotten loser you are the final dinner the last supper who taught you about the New Testament I pick up on things most folks aren't heathens like you hmm <laughs> I've never seen you read the Bible before. I've read the Bible many times. It's an important historical document. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Did you just translate that into Old English? I happen to know the verse by heart. You still manage to surprise me sometimes. Hmm. Jesus looks sad. What reason would Jesus have to be happy? Don't be blasphemous. Given that this is all fiction, blasphemy is a contradiction. Heretic. What are you doing? We're in a church. I thought you did. What's that? The last sermon that was held here. What does it say? Uh, the vicar's handwriting is hard to decipher in the language. He talks about the village being divided for 20 years. This sermon was held on the anniversary of the accident this past summer. He's asking the congregation to help heal old wounds, to forgive, move on. Something to the effect of, you sit in separate aisles in God's house. Like Ruth's drawing. I told you, she was perceptive. Edward? Forgive each other. It addresses Johann and Frederick directly. But I wonder if they were even here. Well, they were twin brothers. They must have been close once. How could they allow their grudge to escalate until... <sighs> you call each other traitors. But the only thing you've betrayed are the bonds that unite us. Interesting. 
It sounds like Grovik was split in two. Between those who stood by Johan and those who supported Frederick. Because of Ruth? The sermon is from before that. No, this is all about the preceding 20 years of division and disagreements. Here's something else. Many of you believe Grovik was cursed 20 years ago. God has not cursed you. This curse is of your own making. Ruth's drawing mentioned a curse. What do you think that means? It means they believed they were cursed, and that they needed something or someone to blame for their misfortune. Hmm. Mm, they were blaming. What is she doing? Found another one. You get it. It's right here. Where? Where is it? Just one more page missing. rope for the bell this is the bell we heard ringing I don't see any other bells so you have to stand here and pull this rope to ring it yes but there was no one here you didn't see anyone right no no one ghosts I'm telling you it's ghosts so what happened to the hunchback of Grovik they must be here still there's only the one exit maybe it was the wind church bell's too heavy. It can't have been the wind. I mean... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was the wind. There's no one here. I don't like that sound. Please stop. I'm wondering what's going to happen. Stop it. Okay. Maybe nothing. Isn't this a fire hazard? They're not always lit. Each candle represents a single prayer. That's a lot of prayers. There were a lot of deaths. I'm missing one more piece of paper. thing I can do is pull the bell. What is it then? Stop it. Stop it.
Stop it. Stop it. Doesn't do anything. We need to find all the pages. The missing pages must be here somewhere. We need to find all the pages. I don't know. Where's the other page? the other page they considered this a sacred place for them to destroy it this was an act of desperation and anger I I now oh, I'm stuck Oh. I was a blind one. Two for two. A tie. Good job, Teddy. Stop, Old Bean. Lissy. This is not a game. Betty's out there. Of oh, horse feathers. Stop being so gosh darn tedious, Edward. Betty, 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 will you ever shut up about your precious Betty? Put those pages back in the book, and I'll stop trying to cheer you up. This book goes back years. It lists births and deaths. Here's the third Fretland brother. The one who died in a cave-in. Someone added the word for Bannelson, probably quite recently. What does that mean again? Curse. That word is all over this book. Not just the men who died in the mine, but... other deaths in the last 20 years. Ruth's drawing and the sermon both mentioned a curse. What do you think it means? I don't know. There were surprisingly few births. Perhaps they blame that on the curse as well. Mm. Look here. Ruth Elsa Fretland. She was buried in the cemetery. And the next entry, Simon Fretland. Now this is interesting. Simon is dead? Oh. That's dreadful. He drowned the day after Ruth died. Probably no coincidence. See what's scribbled next to it? Ward? Murder. Who killed him? Ruth's father? Or the mob that trashed the store? Mm -hmm. Doesn't say. After the children, a half dozen deaths in a single week. The curse. 
it's listed as the cause for every single death. Maybe there really was a curse. Primitive superstition. But something changed after Ruth and Simon. It might explain why there's no one around. Edward, if it killed everyone, how's that not a curse? What does that word say? Next to those names at the bottom. For... For a dark... Traitor. Edward? What's wrong? Final entry. There's... There's no name. Alice, what if... Oh, Edward, no. Betty. It doesn't mean she's... She's not dead. She can't be. I'd know. I'd know. Teddy. I need to see the grave for myself. It's not Betty. Betty's still alive. Teddy? Where are you going? Don't leave me! Edward! You better not be here, Betty. I'll never forgive you. Where is it? Oh, get off! This one. It's... unmarked. What are you doing? Have you gone completely mad? Edward, stop it! Elizabeth, I, I was so afraid. You're a monster. But I had to be sure. If Betty... To hell with your Betty! When did she ever shed a tear for you? Don't talk about my baby sister like or that. Or what? Or what, Edward? What will you do? Ignore us? Banish us? You've spent your entire life chasing her. When are you going to do something useful with what's left of it? Uh, quiet! Just... leave me be! Fine. Lizzie? Alice? Come back! Don't leave me alone! Please! Come back! I... I need you. I, I half expected that. I've been questioning her this whole time, but... No. Just vanish like that. Go back to the house? I, I, I don't know. There, there's no... I was afraid you'd left me. 
Now listen to me. No! Chasing a ghost. Listen. Hey. Listen. Please listen to me. I didn't mean what I said. I. I... Of course you meant it. Everything's always about Betty. Betty, Betty. I care about you both. Until it really matters. Then it's obvious who matters more. I thought she was dead. I wish she was! Don't. You deserve to be alone. The hell? Please, talk to me. What's there to talk about? You can't keep running away from me. You think you own me? That you control me? That you get to decide how I feel and what I do every minute of every day? That I'm your puppet? Your little plaything? The hell? Well, fuck you, Edward Charles Harden! I never should have come here with you on this pointless chase! Now, be reasonable. How is she doing this? What is she? What are you doing? What I should have done years ago. Maybe now you'll learn to appreciate us. Now listen to me. Please, listen. Hear me out. Don't do this. You can't do this to me. I need you. I'm not whole without you. I, I can't lose you. I, I can't live without you. Don't, 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 please, don't, don't, no, 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 no! What? No! would be ashamed. Elizabeth would be ashamed. They did not think you deserved their love, so they abandoned you. Don't. Oh, my child. We are all that you have. And we love you. We are here. With us, you are never alone. I think I want to be alone! Do not forget. No. Never. Never. I never forget. I am never alone. Everything changes. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Day four. Okay! Well, what the hell has he been smoking? Oh my god. What the heck was that? Wake up, Edward. No! Stop hiding. Who are you? Where you go, we go, Edward. You cannot hide from us. But who are you? Where's Lissy? Alice is not here. Bring her back. Please. I need her. Alice does not love Elizabeth like you do. 
She loves me. Not like I do, Edward. I'm so tired. Please. I think of you so often. You have no idea. You just want me to forgive you so that we can keep looking for your precious, perfect Betty. She needs us. <laughs> she never needed you, Teddy Bear. And she certainly doesn't need us. I can't find her on my own. It's just too bad, my darling Edward. Because we're done playing second fiddle to little sis. Wait, don't go. I, I, I'm, I'm talking to... To you. Lissy. Oh. confused right now. Uh, the gloves have found their way onto the mannequin, okay? Fabulous. Lissy? Listen. Please. You can't keep vanishing on me. Try me. Why are you so angry? You do not know anger, Edward. Did you ever meet my father? Alice does not want to speak with you. And what about you? Are you going to help me? God helps those who help themselves. Oh, great, you know. I don't need God's help. I need Lissy. Do you, though? Did you ever? What? Of course, I... Don't go. Hear me out. Alice, I depend on you both. You can never depend on other people, Edward. Oh, will you shut up? I'm sure you count as other people. Everyone leaves one way or another. You don't. You can't. Is that a challenge? Stop playing games. Are you ordering me, Teddy Bear? I'm asking you. Didn't your father always tell you to stand up for yourself? To be a real man and not a sissy? Maybe that's why he put the gun to his head and pulled the trigger. Kaboom! He was so disappointed about what his only son had turned into. You're a monster. It takes one to know one. Pulled the fruit. The... gave you this jacket. Betty! You were here. I'm guessing... I don't know how... I'm just guessing where she's hiding. Alice, be reasonable. I'm trying to talk to you. Lissy, I'm tired of chasing you. Lissy, look. Her jacket. I'm sure it wasn't here yesterday, Jesus which means Christ, Betty was Teddy. here. Perhaps when we were out yesterday. She, Betty, she Betty, 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 Betty. You love Betty more than you love us. But don't you see? What has Betty done that we haven't? What can she do that we cannot? She's real! We've always been there for you. Why do you keep looking for her? She's real. You're not. So? What? You decide what is real. We are real to you. We'll never be the same.
she does not want you. Who are you talking to? Why do you think Betty left? She was sick and tired of us. She wanted to escape. Like mother. Drowning herself because she couldn't stand being around us. Like father. Bang! Right in the coconut. Stop. You drive them all away, Edward. All into death. But not us. We're always here for you. I beg you. You are never alone. Stop! Leave me alone, both of you! You want to be alone? You really want to be alone? Fine. You're alone. Lissy, come back, please, don't leave me. I think she already has. I lied. I don't want you to leave me alone. I don't want to be alone. Please, Lissy. Uh, I don't know. Wow. I was going to say, there must be a reason why I'm in this room, but apparently not. She's gonna be in Ruth's room. That is not how I expected that to go. Betty? Elizabeth? Is that you? That's freaking me out. Are you upstairs? Betty, I'm coming. Betty, are you in there? Open the door. I'm coming in. Stand away from the door.
Ready? No. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I thought it was you, Betty. But who? Anna. Johan, addressed to his wife. Did you notice the handwriting, Betty? He was clearly distraught. So now you're talking to Betty knock, instead of Lizzie. Air knock. Enough is enough. After decades of strife, I pray that God will tell you. Forgive me. I am tired of secrets. For 20 years, I've kept my silence about our discovery. But my silence has only led to misfortune. And my cowardice has only led to death. I will make Frederick pay for what he has done to us. For what they have done to our Ruth. When it is over, I will let the ocean take me to you and Ruth. May God forgive me. And I was already dead when he wrote this. He had no one else to confess to. What now, Betty? Johann went to confront his brother, probably at Frederick's farm. And then? You said this was a gift from another unlucky suitor. It was precious to you. You wouldn't have left it here unless... A signpost. A breadcrumb. You followed Johann to Frederick Fretland's farm, and then to the mine. You wouldn't let this go, Betty. You'd follow your story to the end. Folks back. All the way to the end. I'm guessing we go to the farm. So where is Frederick's farm? The gate. Frederick's warning. The path leads to his farm. Struggling to see. Really dark. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Where am I?
on the right path, okay. Oh, I'm following the dot, okay. Well, I am actually following the dot. I think. Can't see anything. On the wrong way. Down here. The tracks. I can follow them to the mine. I'm right behind you now, Betty. I'm not entirely sure you are. That crow again. What led you to this place? All these fragments. You'd piece them together into a story, wouldn't you, Betty? So, I can't what do we know? Faster. Johan and Frederick are partners, and on good terms. Something happens in the mine. Disagreements lead to a falling out. And at the end of it all, 20 years later, Johan walks this path to confront Frederick. Snowing, but it's not. Simon's grave. Born December 5th, 1909. Died September 17th, 1923. Why bury Simon here and not at the cemetery? If the village blamed him for Ruth's death, I could really use your imagination, Betty. You'd figure this out in no time. Was this your doing, Johan? Did you burn your brother's farm to the ground? Oh, it's Ash. And where were you, Betty? Did you witness their fall? It's Ash. That explains a lot.
I am really struggling to see anything. Treasure Ruth found. Let's go. Kind of... Postmarked in Boston. That's a curious coincidence. Dear Frederick, I hope this letter it's in English, Betty. I hope this letter finds you and the boy in good health. We're concerned about you both. Nineteen twenty two. No word from you for almost two years now. All of us still heartbroken about Margaret's passing. We know things have been difficult for you and Simon. Earth? Mr. Fretland. We expect you to take care of this problem. If the discovery is made public, the authorities will intervene and the mine will be shut down. Should this happen, we will consider it a breach of our contract, and we will withdraw our investment. You and your brother will be responsible for all debts and losses. Johan must be convinced to wall up the chamber. What chamber? We've already dealt with the worker who made the discovery. Fretland Mining Company. That's what I need. This must be for that locked shed. Yep. You went to the mine. I hope our guardian angel watched over you. What? The one that seems somewhat pissed off at All you? Right, Petty. So what happens next in your story? Johan and Frederick discover something in the mine. A cave or chamber of archaeological value. They argue about what to do. The discovery is made public. It's the end of their enterprise. Johan is convinced, or paid, to walk away. Their secret stays hidden. Still can't go any faster. Then, a few months later, the accident. Three men die. The investors pull out. The mine shuts down, Frederick's up to his neck in debt. I've gone backwards. I've gone backwards. I was following the train track, the, the mining tracks, and I'd gone the wrong way. Can't see my hand in front of my face, so to speak. In all of this lot. First mine in Grovik. Locals struggle with bad crops and livestock deaths and blame it on. They thought they were cursed because of the mine. A thing like that becomes self fulfilling. 
If you believe you're cursed, every misfortune feeds the delusion. Are we sure about that? The other way. The other way. Okay, no. Get out the hedge! Oh, for God's sake, get out the hedge. I went the wrong way. And I got stuck in a hedge. It's a catalyst. Old grievances resurface. No matter who you stand with, you're a traitor. Things escalate. More people die from disease, despair, suicides, murder. What on earth is going on? Where are we going? Because of the mine, because of what they found there, and what they covered up. Okay, do we really want to be going in There's here no then? Stop it, Betty. We were alone. That's the real curse of Grovik. Isolation. Okay. Well, there's the mine. Ah. Hello, bird. This place is cursed. Ridiculous. Fucking hell. Doll's head. Ruth was here the day she fell. Something spooked her, and then she ran all the way to the cliff where she fell. Do you know what happened, Betty? Did you witness it? And the mine's unlocked. Fabulous. Hello. Betty, are you in there? Please answer me. Convenient. She left you a lighter. I'm not sure I want to be going in here. Do you want to get out the wall, mate? Turn myself around. Didn't I?
said pick up. This is Mother's brooch. You always wore this. You wouldn't take it off unless... You left it here for a reason. What am I not seeing? Well, for the crow, for one. <laughs> See? Crow! Elizabeth? Is that... Is that you? Edward? Where are you? I'm on my way, Betty. Wait for me. I'm here, Betty! It's Edward! It's me! I can hear you! Hold on! I'm almost there! Let me climb up button. It was there a second ago, where'd it go? Bottom of a cliff. Ready? Hurry up. I'm stuck at the bottom of a cliff. I can't bloody see anything. How do I get up 
here. Elizabeth, there you are. Finally. <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been looking for you. You, you had me so worried. I, I, I. Look, your brooch. Mother's brooch. You, you must have lost it at the mine. Let me put it on for you, Betty. I wouldn't want you to lose it again. She's been dead for 30 years, Edward. Elizabeth was never here. But we didn't come for her. We came for Johan, and Anna, and Frederick, and Simon, and... and Ruth. We're here to tell their stories. No. Elizabeth. She's here. I... You know Betty died when she was a baby. She drowned in the pond. And you found her. You were just 11. You carried her to your mother. Then your mother... She hated you for that. She could never forgive you for bringing her baby to her. And you could never forgive yourself for what she did after. You always forget this, because you don't want to be alone. So you bring Betty back, again and again, to New York, to Boston, to the house. But always just out of reach, never quite there. The scent of her, the echo of her never really her. <clears throat> All it does is make you lonelier. But the thing is, Edward, you're never alone. You have us. And you'll always have us. Betty's... She was never there for you. She couldn't be. You can't lose us. We're a part of you. Forever. And ever. And ever. But you need to let Betty go now. There's not room for all of us in there. I couldn't save you, Elizabeth. I'm so sorry. To my biggest fan, best wishes. It is as painful to wake from a vision as it is to be born anew. Oh, wow. Awakening. Day six.
Goodbye, Betty. your noodle juice yet? I might be weaned off the stuff. Boo. Don't lose your taste for tea, old fruit. It keeps you human. We have unfinished business. We do? The final piece of the puzzle. Ruth. Come on. Let's go back to where it started. We have an appointment with a ghost. Where are we going? Lissy, hmm? nothing. Such an amazing view, isn't it? And the air. Ugh. Why did we come here, Teddy? To Grovik. Well. to Frederick. The one you found in his safe. From Boston. I may have overheard a conversation somewhere. Paid it no attention, but the name stuck. And Betty... And I spun a story around it that put us on this path. Do you really believe that? I mean, how often are you around people? Some places have gravity. What are you saying? Gravewick's gravity pulled us across the Atlantic Ocean? Grovik. No. I'm not saying that. That's irrational. But you believe it, don't you? That we were summoned to tell their story. To find my sister. But Betty's not. She was never here. It doesn't make sense. I'm a man of science. I don't know what to believe. And yet, here we are. All three of us. Is this what you wanted to show me? I wanted to be close to her. Do you believe in ghosts, Edward? You know I don't. Well, you've been chasing one for years. True. That's different. What about me? Us. You're not ghosts. You're alive. Fair enough. So what really happened to Ruth? She must have been killed, thinks Edward. It can't all have been because of an act. She was probably murdered. By Simon? No. I don't believe it was Simon. Then who? Frederick? The hanged man? Someone else? Does it matter? So weird talking to Maybe her now. Maybe not. So she ran from the mine. And she came here. And then someone... pushed her? If only she had wings. Like a bluebird, she could have soared away on autumn winds. Very poetic. But why was she killed? Because she was playing where she shouldn't. The secret the Fretlands had kept for a generation. If people learn the truth, it might tear the community apart. I might put them back together. So she was murdered, and the village was cursed. I hope she's at peace. And with God. Mm. Do you think that's where everyone's gone? They're dead. I don't believe there's anything more to it than that. But there's comfort in oblivion. And we won't be alone. We'll never know what happened to everyone in Grovik. We tried our best. We'll remember them. All of them. Maybe that will give them some peace and oblivion. 
Could this be your book, Edward? The one you've been wanting to write? Maybe. A story about people who are isolated, left behind by the world. You can give them all a proper ending, with no annoying loose threads. Edward, is that... Our boat? But how? Who cares? Let's catch it before it sets out on another adventure. I don't understand how this can be. I keep telling you, ghosts. Ghosts took the boat, ghosts brought it back. It must have been the wind. Whatever helps you sleep at night, teddy bear. Let's blouse, while the weather's still good. I need my suitcase. So get a wiggle on, old boy. I'm going to say my goodbyes to all the things. I don't think we'll be back. Meet you at the house. <laughs> my goodness. Ah, <sighs> righty ho. No rush. We have all day. I'm seeing things, not just him, me too. No, I, I don't know what's going on. Thought I saw something in the window. No, maybe it's just the sunshine. Maybe it was just the sunshine. I'm gonna suitcase. Ah, oh, you can sit on there now. I'm going the right way. up here. Yeah, I am going the right way. 
Thought I'd got turned around again for a minute there. Yeah, there's the flag. Come on, Teddy. Pack your things. I'll meet you by the boat. Do you never sit still? Don't be a wet blanket. Let's make like the wind and get out of here. Pretty place. Oh, okay. We're not going to walk down the hill this time. We're just going to head straight down the hill. Come on, let's go. Row, Teddy, row. Water's still cold. It's a fjord, Lissy. And it's almost winter. There'll be snow when we get back to Hanover. The house will be warm. Are we going to be all right, Edward? I think so. Well, thank you very much for watching. 
hope you like to play this. It's on Steam. And I will see you in another video.